Welcome to Shibuya Station. As the Yamanote line checks out, we are here on a mission. How you doing everybody? Welcome to this beautiful area of Tokyo. This is an interesting live stream because I I've been living in the city of Tokyo since 2004, which is quite a long time in Japan since 1998. And uh, Shibuya is one of these places where everybody must come to at least once, when you, especially if you're a, a tourist. And on the other side of the station, they've been doing a renovation project for years. And I think it was part of the big push to renew this area for the 2020 Olympics. That's not taking place. And here's the, the famous uh, Shibuya crossing right here. But I'm gonna take you to an area that's even more exciting than this crossing. Yes, it's possible. The area is called Miyashita Park. And it used to be a place where there was a lot of homelessness. They had renewed it about 15 years ago and they put in a skateboard park and a rock climbing area. And well, they got rid of that. They've been been kind of renovating it for the last few years and now it's done and so I'm gonna take you in there underneath the Yamanote line right now we're gonna hang a left and go inside Miesta Park which is now kind of like a shopping center I don't know you, you, I guess you got to see it yourself to believe it up there is the new uh, Ginza line station that stops right over the bus terminal on the back side and the new Shibuya stream beautiful building that has these this weird looking monitor that looks like an upside down Mount Fuji but they they play some pretty interesting videos that that only you could do on a TV that size and that shape and Hikarie which has been here for for quite a while is over there but we what we want to do is go here Miesta Park just a quick shout out this here is uh, Nombe Yokocho Nombe Yokocho is an area of Tokyo that um, there's a lot of low low buildings, very old. Um, I, I'll tell you a little bit more as, as we continue this live stream about Nombe Yokocho, but it's a place very dear to my heart. A lot of memories there, very small bars, a lot of it's Showa era stuff. And check it out. This used to be part of Nombe Yokocho. They've widened it, seriously widened it. And now it's open. Look at the Lynch chef making something delicious. Only the Swiss could do that. It's not true. Okay, let's go in here. That um, spaceship looking covering, that round part of it is, is the, the roof. And we're gonna be making our way up there, maybe first, and then work our way down. And uh, I'm gonna go to the other side of it. And do you see here on the bottom of it, that there is a lot of restaurants and they're all outside which is which is pretty good in the pandemic uh you get you're you're not in a closed space and uh, the restaurants look pretty good and i think it's a throwback sort of to preserve that um feeling of of eating in a and, and the restaurants in there are a little bit smaller eating in these these small really personable restaurants that was the the mark of this area now these older buildings here are part of uh, nombe yokocho the ones that are still remaining and uh, this is, I, I don't think that they could get rid of these. And I would hope that they would never get rid of these. Inside here are very, very friendly owners that have been serving food to customers for sometimes over 50 years. They look like shacks because they were built after World War II. And uh, they've stayed that way. And uh, I wouldn't sell either. One of the reasons why they had these low-rise buildings here for such a long time, that one looks like a newer newer building is because that it's over the Shibuya River which is an awful place to build you can't build skyscrapers until recently when architects found a way engineers found a way to get these heavier buildings on top of this low area Shibuya being a kind of valley all right let's go into this Miyashita Park Konnichiwa everybody Let's look at the information. Mr. Park is open 8 a.m. to uh, 11 p.m. And there's uh, three floors and a roof. So for those of you that might be looking at this for the first time, you can also see they have a, a Shibuya City Notification Center for COVID-19 positive cases. That's pretty interesting. Just click that QR code right there. All right, up we go. So Yamanote Line makes its way into the station. We make our way up 
I'm kind of excited about this. I didn't I didn't know that it was completed until maybe about a week ago when people told me. This is our second live stream of the day. I was just at the Transparent Toilets, which is about a, a five minute bicycle ride past NHK uh, in, in the parks on the side of Yogi Park. And that was a pretty neat experience. It was illuminating. It's, uh, Japan has the most beautiful toilets by far. I, I'm just in awe of how cool Japanese toilets are and how, how excited people can get for just, you know, toilets. Please watch your step when getting on or off the escalator. Now this Miesta Park would go up about this height originally. And now you can see Nombe Yokocho right there. Yeah, so you can enter through here and I guess you can go in and uh, see this alley here. They still keep those old buildings. I'm so happy they didn't tear down Nombe Yokocho. If you do come to Shibuya, venture in here for dinner one night. It's a little bit pricey, but it's so worth it. The experience, you're gonna make a lot of friends. Japanese businessmen go in there to say hi uh, to people. It's kind of a neat experience. You, 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 you will leave there with a lot of really cool pictures and memories of eating in there. So I, I figure it's gonna cost maybe 30 bucks a person to go in there, but uh, the owner, there's one, usually one lady who'll stand in the middle of a counter and will serve you food that she's made. And it's been like this for, for decades. Wow, this is so posh compared to what this used to be a place where i mean people would homeless would sleep here now we have it's just it's so different than before all right let's we're gonna go up one more floor now now you can see see all of the buildings here that's the new shibuya that's the shibuya stream where google's office is in there and that's the hotel building i, I believe is no and i'm not sure this is a lot of a lot of new exciting changes to Shibuya. Right, let's... When getting on or off the escalator. You got it, lady. Here we go. All right, so they, they kept this kind of a netting looking thing here. Make it look kind of like a sports stadium, I guess. Sultan writes in here, Nihon ga daiski desu. I can relate to that feeling. All right, look at this. All right, this this kind of, yeah, they have the skateboard park here. Very cool. Very cool. If you look behind me here, the elevators will bring you up um, to the roof. And we're a lot closer to the, a lot higher than I've ever been in this area uh, where Miesta Park was. It was never this, this high. That's pretty cool. Yeah, no way. So you can gather speed and then jump this thing? Or is it a half pipe? It's hard to tell. That's really cool. Oh, and they still have that rock climbing wall. Hey, Nagi. Thank you, John, for taking my park suggestion. You're very welcome. The Nagi and a lot of other people were, were, were mentioning this, so I had to come and check it out. And it, it is pretty neat to be up here. Uh, and I'm really happy to be able to show this to you while it still kind of has that new car smell. It does. Oh, look at these little urban chairs here. I've never seen that kind of a design before. I guess you could flip it over and it would make a pretty good bed. Like a cot or something. All right, I like the suggestion, social metering, uh, social distancing. So they're, they're taking it pretty seriously here. And I guess you need to have some sort of ticket or permission to get into the skateboarding rink. Um, I'll see if I can find out some more information, but there's a website for uh, Miesta Park. I, I climbed this for NHK, but the wall was different. It looked more like a park back then. And now I guess, let, let's take a look, bouldering wall. A little bit of an amusement park looking thing. Let's see how much this is. Oh, she's taking that wall on.
All right, so it's, it's five dollars or 500 yen for two hours of climbing. That's not bad. And if you're an elementary school kid, it's half price. Oh, so the speaker's telling us about the uh, hot temperature and please be careful. That's nice. What? This is a beach volleyball. What? That is awesome. Dudes, beach volleyball in Shibuya. That's really cool. It's a beautiful shot of a net. Very cool. You can watch some matches. Well, I think we're a little bit early. A little bit early. And then here's a place you can uh, hang out with your friends. Lots of public chairs that you can just sit here and, and uh, soak in some sunlight. Not so crowded up here, maybe because people don't know about it yet. There's the Tower Records. I've never been this high to the Tower Records before. It looks pretty neat. Tower Records, yes, Japan's, Japanese still buy um, CDs. And there's a new apartment complex over there. Look at that. So new, so different. Than before. W, who is that? WRX Turbo's here. Hey, no hearts. Hi, John. Have you ever gone into the naturalization citizenship process? No. I'd love to know your thoughts on that. Not really too interested. Proud American. But uh, yeah, who knows what the future holds? It's just, I, I don't know too much about it. I've had friends that thought about it, but um, I don't know. Peter's still American, Jennifer's French. Kevin is Swiss Canadian. <laughs> it's a good question. I'll, if I find anything out, I'll, I'll uh, bring that up. John and Kimura, John Kimura, I will get something from from uh, the area for Kanai. I won't come home empty-handed. Some little t little takeout. I'll have to put up to find a cold one because I need it. I could use a cold one. Here, Jeff Ang, get lunch for you and can I? Oh, you guys are taking care of us. What? Of course there's gonna be a Starbucks up here, right? I knew that there was something, something fishy. The community Starbucks. And uh, the park connects up with this, this building here. So this is the newest newest Starbucks uh, in Tokyo, and it's got a different view, a different uh, feel to it. The counters are white, looks kind of modern. Um, there's an alcohol pump, and this is the sticker that I was showing, talking to you about yesterday. This rainbow sticker. If if the shops comply with Tokyo's standard uh, for preventing the uh, COVID-19. Then they get the seal. That means we should visit only restaurants or places that have adhered to the standards of Tokyo. And Starbucks Coffee has done that. It has a little uh, sticker on there. That means it's doing the procedure. Alcohol at the front. Everyone's wearing masks. Social distancing is uh, practiced. You see on the floor, they have uh, markers where you should stand. Do people do that? Pretty much. Look, everyone's following the rules. Very good. Very good. Lawn field. The use of play implements that could fall out of the park. Prohibited. Installation of items such as tents. Prohibited. Footwear that could damage the lawn. High heels. Prohibited. Do not occupy the lawn for a long period of time. I guess they don't want people sleeping here. But you can sit here. That's good. Oh, 
that feels good. Grass in Shibuya, what? It doesn't make sense. It's all so new. So there's the roof area. I, I hope that this is uh, enlightening. It's so bright and hot in here. I think I'm gonna go downstairs. So what do we have here? Let's just reiterate. Um, skateboard park, bouldering wall, multi-purpose sports facility, and a lawn field. I like that lawn field. Kanai and I can come here for a picnic, but we can't stay for very long. Uh, it's a nice roof. It looks like a great place to picnic, and if you're if you're traveling and, and staying in the area, um, I could see I could see it, see us making use of this sometime. A uh, chess you welcome as an insider. Oh, Mike Roy Roylance. I uh, love your work. Looking forward to getting uh, back to Japan when it's safe. Awesome. Chas is in for a treat. So are all of you insiders. After this live stream, uh, stay tuned for an insider exclusive. I'm going to be going, oh, I can't get down here. What? I'm gonna be going live in a, in a secret live stream for insiders. Um, after this, I'm gonna take you to the Hachiko Crossing. So you get a chance to, uh... how, do, how do I get out of here? I'm trapped. So if you want to take a look at the Hachiko Crossing and Shibuya Station and walk around that area for a little bit, I'm going to take you on a special live stream there. Thank you so much for the support. Yeah, starting I, I just started a new channel and uh, uh, it's been hard, but the community support has, has been so encouraging. It, it helps to keep keep this going. Super appreciative. All right, we're gonna make our way down here. And uh, I wanted to come up here because for so many people, this is, uh, who, who can't make it here to Japan, this is like, you know, your day with me right now in Shibuya. So we're kind of enjoying ourselves, having a quick look-see. I'm a pretty curious person. I like to look at all the different angles. So here's a new one. Whoa! There's a Yamanote line making its way around. It's a double. It's a really nice view. App 6, welcome to the Insider. You'll be joining me on a special trip in about 15, 20 minutes. As soon as this is done, I'll start the live stream and share it in the uh, Insiders, and if you're a postcard club member, a uh, daimyo member, you'll get an invitation for that too. I, okay, we can go down here. So that's it. That's it for the roof here. Um, I'm gonna see. Let's go inside. See if we can get a drink from from a shop or something. But it is a beautiful roof to Shibuya, and it's a new part of Shibuya, and I like it. I like it having public spaces like this. All right, mask on. I used to teach um, a J-pop singer English about 15 years ago. I used to teach her English and, and I would meet her at a cafe or over there and a lot of celebrities have apartments in this area. And uh, she would sit in the back of the cafe with, with these uh, big bubble glasses on and hiding from the world. <laughs> I knew where she was. And I'd, I'd teach her for an hour um, how to uh, English for singing. I mean, this food hall looks really cool, but it's it's like closed up, closed off here. I got to go around another way. I'm not going to tell you who she is. I protect my clients' privacy, but I will tell you she was well known. She sang the national anthem. I can, I, I guess I can give you a hint. She sang the national anthem in a very important sporting event in the United States once. <laughs> Are those hints, does that give it away? I don't know. Um, okay, let's go inside here. I, I, you know, it's weird. I can't, I guess it doesn't open till 11. It's like these, um, like those speakers in Spinal Tap. They, they go to 11.
We got nine minutes before we can go inside. Dag nabbit. All right, you know what? Let's let's come back in nine minutes and we're gonna do a walkabout in this area. I wanna show you the first floor and then we're gonna come back up. The park though, in principle, is open is open from 8 a.m. You can get to the roof, but the insides don't open until 11. These guys, to 11, says Nigel. Folks, I'm using a new gimbal called the uh, uh, Zuijin Smooth Q2. Uh, I don't know if it's as smooth as the DJI Osmo Mobile 3, but Chelsea uh, saw her last live stream. There's Cat Street here. If you go straight, you'll get to a Montesando this direction. And uh, this way will also take you to the intersection where uh, Harajuku is. Back to where the transparent toilet is. It's such an amazing looking complex, isn't it? You can hear the Yamanote line going back and forth. All right, now typically you can go this way to the back of Shibuya Station, but this is a new area. This also opened up and I'm gonna take you back to the front, but we're gonna go past this time, past a lot of the restaurants that are on the right side here. Um, they, they kind of adhere to that feeling of Nombe Yokocho going back to the Showa era. And I think that that's important. That's part of this area's identity. And I'm glad that they're finding a way to, to, to keep that. These are all a Shibuya Yokocho. So this is called Shibuya Yokocho now. I don't know. I still like the original Nombe Yokocho and will always support my friends over there. Whoosh. A year in the life of Shibuya. That kind of sums up the, the newness of this area over the last uh, year is just incredible. It just, it doesn't feel like the Shibuya that I know anymore. It's a new Shibuya for a new era. Look at these tables. That could be you sitting there one day. If you'd like to be here right now, raise your hand. I guess you can do that with an emoji or something. <laughs> I don't know. Look at all these tables. This is like the Oktoberfest in Munich. Not really. But I think I can get a, I think I can get a beer here. Check out the menu. Sorry, folks. Just a little bit of a lag. But these are the. Um, uh, restaurants that are underneath. If I just pan up now, you can see here. That's the uh, the park up here. This silver looking. Uh, they've done a really beautiful job with it. So don't forget about uh, Shibuya Yokocho. I guess that's what they're calling it. This is new to me. Shibuya Yokocho. Dragon Darkfire's got his hands up. Jacket Darkfire, I believe, is the creator, no, of the John in the Space Boat series, which is really, really cool. A science fiction novel where I go to space and vlog. The imagination put into that series is amazing. Hey, everybody. Sorry about that. We got some reports of a, of a black screen. Hey everybody, sorry about that. We got some reports of a, of a black screen. Sometimes the YouTube app is not working properly. It happens. Uh, once again, for those that, that missed everything that I was saying, which is probably everybody, these are the restaurants underneath on the first floor of uh, Miesta Park, the new Miesta Park, and it looks really inviting. And uh, don't, for, don't miss out on this one. I guess after around... Um, uh, two, three o'clock. I bet you it, there aren't that many people and it's a pretty nice place to hang out in Shibuya outside here. There are some trees, some nature, but if, you, if I pan up here, you can see the top of the park and it's clean. It's so clean here, which is, that's not what I'm used to. When you hear Miesta Park, you don't think of clean. You think of something else. What is that? Hama, Hama Cola. Never seen that before. Interesting. So this is the Miesta restaurants, and I believe that uh, I can go upstairs and get a drink now. 
in the Japanese way of the old Showa era. They have these vertical signs here in color showing the name of the shops. That's kind of neat. The one thing that we shall not forget is our past. Our past is uh, very important to Japan. Here's a picture showing uh, New Year's on Shibuya. So Shibuya Ward is very progressive and, and they have opened up for Halloween and for New Year's and it's kind of neat. There's a lot of Westerners in this picture. Dudes with beards. Drinking craft beer and orangina. And uh, you saw the Western way, and here's the Japanese way. Peaceful, keep to yourself, go to the shrine, wait in line. Totally different. Suzette S, nice walk, thank you. Thank you, Suzette, that's so nice. Michael Sasano, see if I could find a place that sells honey toast. Oh, or ice cold matcha tea from a vending machine. That sounds so good. We got a new the new traveler, Chris Chris T. Welcome. Lovely Takelo. They have nearly everything in one up in one roof. So that's awesome. Safe regards to you and Kanai during the COVID-19. Thank you so much. There's a vending machine right there, and I'm getting a little parched, so I'm gonna get a drink. I'm waiting for these shops to open. I thought that'd be pretty cool. Take you in. The tunnel's still open. The tunnel is still open. That's a very famous tunnel for us locals that gets us to the other side. Yeah, this used to be a lot of, of homeless shacks. But. For those that are insiders now, um, I will be taking you on a, on a very quick trip around Shibuya after this live stream. So I'll post this in the insider box. And if you're a Patreon supporter, Postcard Club level member higher, you'll get a chance to see this too. Oh, they're, they're lining up. Oh, they just opened the door. What timing? Please watch your step when getting on or off the escalator. All right, let's go inside. Take a look-see. This looks like a really nice bakery too. Let's take a look here, walking through here. This gives you an idea of what's in the area. Good morning, everyone. It is now opening time at Miyashita Park. We hope you take your time to enjoy Hey, check it out. They have a um, Kit Kat Chocolateria. His kids are playing the piano in the Kit Kat store. Wow, very nice. It's interesting to see the shop owners outside in the front of their store when they first opened to bow at the customers coming in. Very cool. That's what we're here for. Food hall. What do we got in here? Always try to keep clean, just to take a quick look around here. 
So we've got Taco Bell, New York Ramen, Kuro Obi, Panda Express. I've never seen that before in Japan. Panda Express? Maguro Market. Oh, look at these glass panels for social distancing. I've never seen this before. Panda Express, that's not, not known at all in Japan, but it's such an, a famous place in America. Probably not the best food here. Gonna have to pass. Sorry, folks. I don't know. It doesn't complete me. What we got over here? Kind of disappointed with the, with the pickings. It's very young, you know, like, I think this is a teenager kind of a thing. Nasha Broad writes in here, notorious. <laughs> Panda Express is notorious, that's right. All right, we'll walk, we'll walk through the second floor here, take a quick look-see, and then uh, grab ourselves a drink at a vending machine, I guess. I'm a little bit disappointing with the pickings here. It looks like offices over on this side. The Keihin Tohoku line. The Tokaido line. I think that was the Tokaido line that just went by. Like the recycle bins here. They're taking taking temperature. Oh, I, I thought they were taking her temperature to get go inside. So egg slide is open. looks pretty good. I don't know, everyone's like under the age of 20 there. It's gonna escape. I know him. Alright. Oh, okay, so we're back to the, the Kit Kat shop. I guess we can take a quick look-see at the Kit Kat shop, huh? We're going to the Kit Kat shop. PJ, welcome, new traveler. Awesome. Oh, look at this. There's a Shibuya souvenir shop. That's interesting. Let's take a look. What kind of souvenirs? What are we talking about here? That looks like Mount Fuji. Some caramel. Um, Shibuya sticks. This could be some daimyo action right here. Mm, I don't know. It takes a lot to pick my interest. Shibuya Park drinks. Uh, I don't know. Oh, Lulu. Not quite sure. I think they're gonna have to up their game here. There's Kashisu. They have all sorts of Kit Kats. One bar for three dollars. I don't know. I've never been. I always thought that this wasn't. I never thought that this was worth it. 
I sent this to our daimyo uh, as, a as a Christmas present. Um, this one, here. Oh, this one looks really good, though. Five, five dollars for that. I don't know. Kit Kats are nice. Why? I, I don't have the need for the gourmet ones. I've just never been... Never been... I've been underwhelmed by them. Oh, Warabi Mochi. Raise your hand if you like Warabi Mochi. Whoa. That looks good too. Honey lemonade. But it says here it's loaded. They pack it with sugar, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure I want all that sugar. Here we go. Let's take a quick look see at the restaurants here so you get a better idea of the things that I missed. Uh, there's uh, Udon, Shikoku style, Kyushu. Oh, this is all the first floor. So it's basically like like a donburi bold, bold stuff on the first floor that uh, uh, Shibuya Yokocho. That's interesting. And then up upstairs here on the on the first floor uh no this is all the first floor okonomiyaki gyoza very nice there's a sushi shop as well and then there's there's the uh egg slut and the pan uh bread espresso the kit kat chocolate factory panda express kurobi interesting there's the taco bell there's a wagyu shop i didn't see that one. Oh, okay i saw that i saw that i saw that before i don't know i think it's uh, n nothing really interests me there. It's a bakery. But it does comply with Tokyo's strict Shin Gata Coronavirus prevention. Good job, Miyashita Park. Let's go hit that vending machine. Yeah, Chris, I'm not getting any boba tea. Come on. Do you know who you're talking to? Japanese coffee tastes like coffee. You realize it's, it's 11 a.m. People telling me to get a beer. A responsible man. I'm driving. A bicycle. All right, let's see what we got here. That's like a a meal in a a meal in a can. I like these little little teeny pet bottles that they have only in Japan. And for 30 and more, you can get double the size. Americans are like looking at this going, where would you do that? Why would you buy half the size? Because Japanese don't, can't drink uh, half a liter of sugar. I don't know, a part of me is just saying, just get water. Take my money. Maybe I don't have enough on there. Maybe I don't have enough money on there. I'm pretty sure I renewed that. Okay. Have it your way. Play a little jingle. That's not a suika, it's a kitaka. And a kitaka means kita, kita meaning north, north meaning Hokkaido. That's the suika of Hokkaido. So, no, it takes suika, but I don't know, maybe I don't have enough money on it.
You can say you can say beer all you want. It's not even it's not even noon. Oh, that was so worth it. As you can tell, I don't give in to peer pressure. You could try to bully me too; it won't work. I get. I, I try to drink only after 5 p.m. Strict rules. Although I, maybe 3 o'clock might work. Strict rules. Oh, wait. I wanted to take you to uh, Nombe Yokocho and just show you this area. So that's Miyashita Park. I hope that this has been a, a pretty enlightening uh, 40 minutes for you. To give you a look inside. Now, I think... I think um, it's worth taking a look and hanging out in the park. I'm not so sure the shops are very interesting. Uh, I think they're specialty things, like uh, things that most people don't want. But the restaurants on the first floor seem to be the most interesting and most exciting. Right? And this is a bicycle parking, by the way. You can get in through here. But I want to show you Nombe uh, Yokocho. These old buildings have been here through the... Uh, through the 1950s after World War II these shacks came up to feed people and uh, to get into the good restaurants you have to come in here it's kind of a secret entrance they do have a restroom here you can smell it right there <laughs> I, I remember using these I remember using these you drink and drink and drink and then you'll come and uh, it's, it is really a uh, let's see if the Kinoko is here that's the one that I, I went in for NHK Let's see if Kinoko is still here. No, no, Enoki, Enoki. I see it right there. Enoki is a kind of mushroom. Yeah. Enoki is still here. Yeah, there it is. They've been serving food for ages. And they're closed, Enoki. But this area is, um, it's, a, it's a throwback. And... I hope that they don't ever close this part. Uh, you can see it, it is very much an alley. I was worried when they were building, redoing the park that they would get rid of uh, Nombe Okocho and that's the case at all. And then boom, we're out. Very interesting, huh? I like that. So if you have any questions, Leave me a comment below. If you're an insider, I'm gonna be doing another live stream in about five minutes, taking you out to Hachko. Insider is our um, the top top level. I try to do one or two live streams that are private and secret for, for our community. Postcard Club and Daimyo members on Patreon will get a chance to see this as well. Um, it's a neat area. Nombe Yokocho, definitely walk through here. Take a piece of history, take a right, and go into the alleys here. And then if you want to, you can go to the Yamashita Park but I, I, I think it is really worth it. And uh, let me just take you out here where I'll say goodbye to you right here on, on, on Hachiko Scramble. This is where everybody goes. So I think you should go where almost nobody goes to Nombe Yokocho back here in the, in the alley. There you go. Tokyo 2020. That's Hachiko Crossing right there, folks. And the crossing has started. The busiest crossing in the world, some people say. So sure about that. Great. Have a good day. Have a good night. The insiders will see you in about five minutes. The link will be going into the insider community tab on the Only Japan Go page. Have another episode on the new channel coming really soon. Welcome to Shibuya. I hope this was really, really uh, memorable for you to watch and click the like button and subscribe. See you again probably tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Hey, Kazu! Kazuma, thank you. Be my godfather. <laughs> yeah, I don't know.